What's up guys? <laughs> Dr. Chris with Bareford Rehab in Denver, New Jersey and co-founder of Adhesion Release Methods. And today you're gonna see a treatment visit with my buddy Taylor. He's a 25 year old dude and he thought he had muscle spasms until he came in here and he realized he didn't. And he's super happy that he did. Enjoy. <laughs> Taylor is the 25 year old son of one of our older patients. He came in here in June 2024 because he had one week of muscle spasms. And he thought he had muscle spasms because in January 2024, he had muscle spasms right here. It lasted for two weeks and his physical therapist diagnosed him with muscle spasms and helped them resolve in two weeks. And I asked Taylor when I saw him, is it possible that your muscle spasms would have healed or recovered no matter what you did on their own, despite whatever intervention your physical therapist did? And he looks at me. Yeah, it's possible. <laughs> I'm like, you're damn right it's possible because this is what disc episodes, cervical disc herniation episodes do in your neck. What do you feel here? No real pain, maybe a little bit of pulling like in that area. Zero to 10, let's do that pull. Um, it's a really light feeling. I'd say one or two. Flex your right forward, bring your chin to the chest. Yeah. What do you feel here? It's just a stretch. Really the same thing. Where do you feel that stretch? Here. Mm, like right here. This spot. How intense? A little bit on the other side too, but I feel it more on the left side. Um. Maybe like a three. Yeah. Same thing, really. It's like that pulling, stretching feeling. Both sides. <clears throat> yeah, both sides, but more here. You could grade it zero to ten. Um. Three. Okay, so the only time you really, you had that little episode, but you were just feeling some symptoms in the morning. Yeah, I'd say so. Okay. It's, it's, Side back towards me, your whole body. Keep coming, keep coming. Good. His suboccipital muscles, rectus capitis posterior minor right now on the left side is moderate. His range is regressed a little bit because when, when you tuck that chin in, you're supposed to have 25 degrees. And he had 17 last time. That's 68% function. And he dropped down to five, mm -hmm. which is 20% function. So it just tells me that his disc is still protecting him. And typically it's the suboccipitals that will restrict that motion. And so I'm just making sure that there's nothing gluing these down. So that we can prevent these disc episodes from happening again because he had his second one within a year and he's 26 right 25 25 always they usually get worse as time goes by so we want to make sure that he never has a disc episode again and that's why removing the adhesion is a good idea usually a disc episode is something that resembles a disc symptom somewhere around the spine or shoots a specific areas in his case it was shooting to right in here you could have it in the low back as well and it usually lasts between two to ten days and then typically as people get older they don't get the adhesions removed they will start lasting longer they be more intense usually people come in here when they have these every six months they'll have an episode but when it starts lasting three or four weeks and they're like why isn't it going away and then that's usually when they call us but he's a smart guy and his dad's a patient so we're longer, treating this. longer and more intense as you age is wild. I can't imagine it being worse than it was. Dude. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, that's why we're we're taking care of it now. There's some stuff right here right next to his carotid artery, which obviously has the pulse and longus coli feels a little bit stuck right here. So we're gonna treat this longus coli carotid artery adhesion. And I'm making sure that I'm not smothering the artery, obviously, because it'll pass out. 
So I'm making sure that I'm choosing my location very intelligently with a lot of awareness. Oh. You okay? Yeah, I'm good. It's moderate to severe here. So he's been coming in here for about two weeks. He's 60 to 70% better. He really only has one out of 10 symptoms first thing in the morning or when he's slouching with crappy posture. And I keep reminding him because he's 25 years old. Now is the time to never ever have another muscle spasm or cervical disc herniation episode in your neck again. So I hope you keep having symptoms so you change your damn posture and you don't keep overloading your disc. And he laughs at me. But this is a huge deal because I see a lot of people who have muscle spasms and people tell them their muscle spasms, they keep getting massaged or see a physical therapist or use a foam roller or so right in their belly or whatever. And then it gets temporary relief, but it never gets permanent relief. The reason why there's not any permanent relief is because the adhesions in your muscles and the adhesions around the nerve entrapments are still there. And that will what causes the overload on the cervical disc herniation and why the episodes get worse as we get over, older, get longer as we get older. And ultimately there's a never ending dip, disc episode once you let it go 20 or 30 years. And then people are like, well, now I can't live my life. So you want to nip it in the bud as early as possible. It's not just a muscle spasm. It's a cervical disc herniation episode. All right, perfect. Much better. What'd you feel here? Not much. Not much, maybe. Mm. Is that something? I mean, I can still feel that stretching, but it's like a, it's, I can barely feel it. It's like a one. Bring it to your chest. What'd you feel here? Mm. It's just a stretch. It's very light. Two, ten, and where? One. Right here, same spot as before. What do you feel here? Nothing. Nothing? If you'd like to see more about how we fix chronic pain at Bareford Rehab in New Jersey and with adhesion release methods across the world, hit the like, hit the subscribe, and stay tuned for more videos that we will be releasing each week.